Alexa, stop. Good morning everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what a realistic routine looks like for me after a long week of work. So on a reset day, I would usually sleep in till around 7 a.m., which is late for me. Um, I usually wake up at around 5 a.m. I've basically naturally trained my body to do this. So even if my alarm isn't on or I've overslept a little bit, I never wake up any later than 7 a.m. I know it's not the best practice, but I do like to check my phone first thing in the morning before I get out of bed. I had stopped doing this for a very long time because I felt like it made me more reactive. Even though I do check my phone in the morning, I don't typically respond to anything unless it's urgent or like family. I try to give to myself first thing in the morning before I give to others, even if it's just like an hour in the morning, it's still like an hour free of obligation to others. When I do remember, I do like to hydrate myself first thing in the morning before I eat or drink anything else, just to prep my stomach for the day. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'd either have breakfast or I'll start cleaning my space. Having a clean and organized environment is so important to me. It influences my mood and how productive I am for the day, so it's imperative in all of my routines. I had a dental appointment this morning, so I cleaned what I could and then I showered and got dressed to head out. My life is real, so a lot of the times, even though I'm off, um, I would still have work or some type of errand to run. I just try to find balance and balance looks different for everyone and isn't always the same each day. Um, it could be gym one day and Netflix the other day. I just allow myself that flexibility and try not to punish myself so much for it. So I know that I won't die if I miss a day of gym for Netflix. So I would usually take my supplements first thing with a glass of water, but as I said, my life is real. So this is what I did today. I take different supplements for different things. I take my iron supplements to help with my anemia. And I've tried to be a lot better with taking my supplements because I realized when my iron levels are really low it does affect like my mental health my physical health everything um, recently I've started to take collagen peptides for like my muscle and joint recovery from lifting heavy weights in the gym and then I'll take any other supplements or prescribed medication alongside these so it's about 8 35 maybe 8 40 now so I am I am running a little bit late my dentist appointment is 9 30 so I'm just gonna have this quick um, breakfast protein shake before I head out and then when I get back I'll probably make myself a smoothie before I head out to the gym again so yeah let's get going outside is no joke so it is so hot today in London and <clears throat> I forgot to take a bottle of water with me I thought I was gonna pass out it's that hot it's gonna be 38 later so it's almost 40 degrees outside so keeping with the clean space, clean mind, I just carried on my cleaning routine. So I moved on to the kitchen when I got home, started to wash the dishes, clear up any mess that I had, take out any rubbish that I had, and just basically just cleaning the kitchen, making sure that it's nice and tidy before I um, make breakfast. So on a normal day, I would just go out and make like top up my grocery shopping, but today was not a normal day as i said it was like almost 40 degrees outside and i was not about to go back out so i just ordered some get get here get here i don't even know how to pronounce it and then i just decided to clean out the fridge which is part of my process as well i like to take out any stale food wipe down any like stuff that needs to be wiped down and restock anything that needs to be restocked for like my lunch bags and stuff and that's basically what I'm doing just clearing out the fridge and restocking so this is what the fridge looks like before it's kind of a mess to me maybe not to other people but to me it's a bit of a mess um, and I'm just gonna restock like all the stuff that I use in the week to make like my lunch bags to take to work I absolutely love these drinks that I'm putting in now, the San Pellegrino. Um, I like them more than the original fizzy drink, um, the one next to it. I don't know what it is, I think it's less fizzy than the original one. 
and I don't even like fizzy drinks but these slap you guys need to try them so unfortunately doing laundry is part of my reset routine it's not my favorite part not something that I really enjoy doing but it has to be done so I'm doing it <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just putting in all my dirty laundry, specifically my work clothes. I will just wash the, the things that I need and everything else can wait. That's how much I don't like to do laundry. Can you believe that I've not had nothing to eat except for that breakfast shake earlier in the morning? And it gets like that sometimes. Like I get caught up in my routine and my errands that I forget to eat or I don't get to eat when I would like to eat. And then I end up eating midday or like late afternoon. Today I'm going to go to the gym so I am making a lighter than usual breakfast. To some people this might not be a light breakfast but to me it is. I train to build so I am on a calorie surplus um, diet so I try to eat more than I burn in a day to help build my muscles basically. So this to me is a light uh, than usual breakfast. I do try to still keep it very healthy and nutritional because my diet is part of my lifestyle and it's so important to me. So I try my hardest to eat healthy and clean where I can. And that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm strict with how I eat or what I eat because I don't think that that's healthy either. I try to be intuitive with um, my eating habits and my diet. So I go off what my body needs but still keep in mind what my goals are. Fitness and nutrition is what really kickstarted my life journey and I'm so indebted to it because I wouldn't be where I am right now without it. It's basically my lifestyle now and it's so hard sometimes to articulate to people why I owe so much of my routines, my habits and even my perspective to it because it was such an emotional journey. This isn't a habit that I've been doing a lot of recently. It was something that I did a lot before, but because I just ate and I wanted to wait and let the food kind of digest a bit before I went to the gym and I didn't want to go back on my phone, I decided to pick up a book that I had started reading. I highly recommend this book for anybody that's going through anything at the moment. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Again, depending on how I'm feeling, I might do nothing for the day. I might do a little bit of yoga or go to the gym or even do both. Today, I decided that I wanted to go to the gym and really get in like a good workout. I was working out legs today, so I did some squatting, some jumping, some Olympic lifting. I was able to like beat my previous weights that I was lifting, so I was really happy about that. Um, I did end up like straining my knee and hurting my leg and it was like a kerfuffle the next day. Um, but I really enjoy going to the gym and like doing yoga, anything fitness related. I just feel like really good after I've done it. It helps like relieve a lot of stress and anxiety and I find that I sleep a lot better and I just feel overall like better with myself when I've had like a good day's workout or I do like a nice like yoga session at the beginning or the end of my day. So I always try and do some type of fitness at least three or four times a week can i just say this was the first time i ever lift 30 kilos above my head and was able to get back up and i did three reps of this Taking some time to really pamper myself is really a rare occasion for me. I don't really get the opportunity or the time to do these things. So when I do get the time or the opportunity, I like to just incorporate like small extra steps into like my regular routine um, just to make the experience a little bit more luxurious and like meaningful or special. So whether it's like taking a longer than usual shower or exfoliating before I shower, then I try to incorporate these little things. By the way, if you have really like sensitive skin or scalp like me, then you need to try these products. I absolutely love and live by Dove and like Johnson's baby products. Um, I've been using Dove for years. I love the way it smells and I love the way it makes your skin feel after you've used it. They don't like strip your skin. And the same thing with the Johnson's baby products. They don't strip your skin and they don't strip your scalp or your hair. 
So I'm not going to get into too much detail with my skincare routine. Just know that these products that I'm showing you are holy grail products and they work. If you have problem skin, hyperpigmentation, dermatitis, um, eczema, these products are the products for you. I will be making a video coming. I know I've been promising for such a long time, but I will be making a video to show you guys like my routine. And just like my skincare routine, I keep my hair care routine very minimal and very simple. This is all I'm going to put in my hair tonight and if I do use any other products it's usually coconut oil. So I'm about to unwind and relax and watch a movie and I wanted to show you guys this um, box that was sent to me by a company. The company is called Snack Surprise and they're basically a monthly subscription snack box. So each month you get sent a box um, full of snacks from a different country around the world. This is not sponsored, the company just sent the box to me and I just wanted to show you guys. So this is the box and the country this month is Bulgaria. When you open it up, it comes with like a leaflet with the country that the snack box is from and some information about the country. Okay, so they make a few different boxes. They have their mini box, their original box, and then they have a premium box. So the mini box would have all of these items in there. The original box will have everything the mini box has plus these items and then the premium box will have everything that the other two boxes have plus all of these items here. So you do get a lot inside of each box. Even the mini box you still get like a fair amount of snacks to try. try this one first this is the milk and honey soft tape so let's try that one first this is what it looks like this is good mm. this is so good this reminds me of Twinkies I'm gonna try this next these are like some hard sweets if there's anyone from Bulgaria that watches my videos, leave a comment down below if any of these like remind you of your childhood like snacks that you used to eat. So I'm going to try this one next. Okay, this is like a hard sweet. Imagine I went to the dentist today and eating all these snacks. I'm going to try the drink next. Oh shit. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave the drink because it's really really frizzy. I think from like all the heat. But yeah, if you guys would like to try this out, make sure you head in the description box and click the link down below. Okay, so I'm going to get something to eat, dinner, and then I'm gonna head to my bedroom and finish up the day watching a movie and eating my snack surprise box. I'm gonna just make my salad because <laughs> the place I wanted to order from is closed so I'm gonna quickly make my salad. Father just went to Mexico. 